All right, this is homework 3.2b, which is one of the most important homeworks we're gonna have this year. It just has a ton of stuff on the AP test. You wanna make sure you understand all of these all the way. Um, so I'll go over a few of these with you. The first one says, at x equals zero, which of the following is true um, for f defined by this? And I'm gonna go a little bit deeper than the problem goes because we wanna make sure we know how to check all of these things. So to see if f is decreasing, increasing, discontinuous, relative minimum, relative maximum, um, we're going to first find the derivative. f prime of x equals, by the power rule, 2x. Here we've got a chain rule. It's going to be e to the negative 2x times the derivative of negative 2x, which is negative 2. So f prime of x equals 2x minus 2e to the 2x, negative 2x. Okay. At x equals 0, we want to know if f is increasing. Uh, so I'm going to make a sign chart here. I find it easiest um, we're going to say x f prime, and really we're only looking at one spot. We're looking at when x equals zero. What is f prime of x equal to? So maybe maybe a sign chart is too much. Um, but when x is zero, f prime of zero equals zero minus two e to the zero. e to the zero is one. Anything to the zeroth power is one. So we get f prime of 0 equals uh, negative 2 times 1, which is negative 2. So this is negative. So is f increasing? No. f prime is negative, so f is decreasing. Um, is f decreasing? Yes. Is f discontinuous? No, this is a polynomial and an exponential, neither of which are discontinuous ever anywhere. They're always continuous. Um, is... Does f have a relative maximum? No, f prime needs to be zero for f to have a relative maximum, and it's not. f has a relative maximum, also f prime needs to be zero, and f prime is negative here. So f is decreasing, and our justification, the sentence we need to use when we're writing this on the AP exam is, f is decreasing at x equals zero because f prime of x, f prime of 0, is less than 0. Um, so we answered the question, f is decreasing, where it's decreasing, and we said because the derivative of f at 0 is less than 0 or is negative. Uh, you could also write f prime of 0 is negative. Okay, um, let's look at number 4. Um, we want to find where f has the different relative extrema. Um, and so here's f prime of x. It already gives us the derivative of f. And so we're going to make a sign chart. We don't need to take the derivative. They've already given it to us. And so we want to look at x. And we're going to make a sign chart. At x equals 2, the derivative will be 0. At x equals 3, the derivative will be 0. And at x equals 4, the derivative will be 0. Um, when we pick a number less than 2, um, I'm going to put in 1. 1 minus 2, it's going to be negative. 1 minus 3 is going to be a negative, but a negative squared is a positive. 1 minus 4 is a negative, and a negative cubed is a negative. So this is going to be positive. When I put in a number between 2 and 3, like 2.5, um, 2.5 minus 2 is positive. 2.5 minus 3 is negative, but a negative squared is a positive. And 2.5 minus 4 is a negative, and a negative cubed is a negative. So we're going to get a negative. In between 3 and 4, uh, I'll pick a number like 3.5. 3.5 minus 2 is positive. 3.5 minus 3 squared is positive. 3.5 minus 4 is negative, and a negative cubed is negative. So a positive times a negative is a uh, negative. And last, when x is greater than 4, we get a positive times a positive times a positive, which is a positive. So f of x was increasing, and then 0, and then decreasing. Then 0, and then still decreasing, then 0, and then increasing. So we can kind of see what's going on here. Um, f has a relative maximum at x equals 2. That's great. 
f does not have a relative minimum at x equals 3 because the sign doesn't change. The sign of f prime doesn't change. f was decreasing and then continued to decrease. That is not correct. f has a relative maximum at x equals 4. That is not correct either. Even though the derivative is 0, uh, f prime changes from negative to positive, so that would create a relative minimum value. F changes from decreasing to increasing. So that's not right. So it was one only. All right, we'll do one more on the back. Um, I like these. Let's do um, number six. We want to know where is F decreasing? Okay, F is decreasing. You want to be able to translate instantly into language, uh, into calculus. F is decreasing means that F prime is less than zero. So we're looking for where f prime is less than zero, and they've already given us f prime. So there we go. We're done. f is decreasing between um, x is zero and x is two, and then again between x is four and x is six. Super easy. And I hope you guys can see that if you get good at these, these uh, questions are, are very, very easy to get on the AP exam, um, but are worth a ton of points. So this is something you want to get really good at and stay good at. I would practice this every couple weeks.